Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to show you how to bring VizFloix graphics into post-production. Now VizFloix is an online-based graphics platform that's extremely powerful and easy to use and meant to be triggered live. Now we like these graphics so much that we wanted to start using them in some of our post-production work, so we have a nice simple way of combining VizFloix, TriCaster, and NDI tools to achieve exactly that. So sit back, relax, and let me show you how it's done, son. All right, all right, all right. So I have three pieces of equipment that I am going to be bringing together here. So uh, first is I have my VizFloix graphics here on my uh, web browser. I also have NDI Studio Monitor open for my TriCaster 2 Elite, which we'll be bringing my Flowix graphics into. And then I also have Premiere uh, open here as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. Let's start to combine these things. So uh, first things first, here's my graphic that I made, just something simple right now, and it has a little animation. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, what I want to do is I'm going to get this. There's no uh, direct way to get uh, Flowix uh, graphics uh, exported directly from uh, Flowix to, say, uh, Premiere, for example. So we're going to do a nice little roundabout way. A pretty cool thing that we uh, figured out how to do and just wanted to share that with you. So, uh, first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to open up the output of this. So, that will be my web browser and uh, or the URL for my graphic, my HTML5 graphics. So, I can just go through and I'll copy that. Roger that. Okay, and now let's move over to the TriCaster. And I'm going to bring that graphic into buffer number one. All right, so I'll do that by clicking the plus button. And I'll go to web browser. And I'll just paste in my graphic here. All right, cool. So I can see that right there. Let's go ahead and bring it on screen via my downstream key here and a hey, take a look at that. All right, uh, so let me move this over just a little bit here so we can see that this is working in tandem. So I can bring this uh, graphic on and off screen like so flawless. Okay, cool. So what I want to do is grab this graphic and bring it into a Premiere project, for example. Okay. So uh, what the easiest way that we found to do this is to open up another iteration of Studio Monitor. So you'll see right now, I have it this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record the output of this. But first, uh, let me show you something. So instead of getting the program output from my TriCaster, I am going to go into my TriCaster to Elite, and I'm going to just pull up that buffer directly, like so. Okay, so now I only have the graphic uh, coming from this. Now, what's cool about NDI Studio Monitor is I can record clips uh, on here and then uh, you know bring them into my broadcast. And what's awesome about this is since I'm bringing in just the buffer number one, I could use this as an overlay because it brings in the alpha channel. You know, so uh, what I'm going to do? Let's go ahead and I'm going to right click inside Studio Monitor, and I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to application, and I'm going to set my record path, and I'm just going to set my record path here to my desktop. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and do that. So I don't even really need the TriCaster here anymore. I basically am just kind of using this to get the buffer out of it. All right, so let's go ahead and minimize that. And I'm going to go into Flowix here, and I'm going to say take my overlay off. And then I'll go back into Studio Monitor here and just hit record. All right. And now I'm just going to bring on that graphic on Flowix. You'll see that it comes through down here. And I can let that go for however how long I want and say set my out. Okay. So now from here, let me go ahead and hit stop on that. So I've recorded that and that clip is now here on my desktop right over here in the corner. Cool. So let's go ahead and I'm going to rename this here. So I'm going to call this Viz. Low X, lower third. Boom. Okay, cool. So now let's go ahead and bring that into post production. Check this out. So let me bring in, open up uh, Adobe Premiere, and let me bring over my sequence here so you can see what I'm doing. I didn't quite put that where I wanted to. Right there. Cool. 
All right, so this is just the new tech music video that I made forever ago. It's goofy, it's funny, but you know, whatever. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import in uh, that clip that we just recorded. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll go over here to File, Import, or you can just drag and drop it, but I'm gonna do it this way. Desktop, bring in my lower third. All right, so now I have that here in my project, and let me drop that here on the timeline. Get rid of the audio, don't need that. Bring it down. Now, since I did have a little bit of delay when I was doing this, I'm going to need to trim this up a little bit. But let me just go ahead and play this out for you and show you. All right, there's a the video, and then here's going to come my lower third. Bam, there it is. So, as you can see, it covered, I mean, it brings in the uh, alpha channel, and I, now I just have this graphic to play with. So I could trim that up a bit. Let's say, doo -doo -doo, that's where it's gone. Have that. Hit play. There it is. And then it'll come off screen at some point. Where is it? There you go. All right, and I can trim that up. And then I can change the timing on this, etc. But this is probably the easiest and quickest way to bring in a Flowix graphics into post production. So now I have this lower third. I can do whatever I want to with it, etc. So pretty cool. Uh, and all you really need to do is just, like I showed you, just have uh, bring your graphic into your production here on via a TriCaster, and then on another iteration of Studio Monitor, just record the output of the buffer itself, and you have a nice little alpha channel graphic that you can bring in. So, pretty easy to do, uh, super awesome. Uh, this is just a quick little dirty example of how to do this, but I really like how Flowix graphics look and I've been wanting to use them in post-production, and this seems to be the quickest and easiest way to do it. So, uh, again, what I recommend doing with all of these is, you know, play around with it, and of course, you know, have some fun, yeah, yeah. There you have it, an easy way to get this Flowix graphics into your post-production software. Now for more tutorial videos like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for formalized new tech product training and an opportunity to get TriCaster certified, check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech u. And for more information on new tech products and services, contact your local new tech partner or visit our website, newtech.com. And as always, if you're posting your work with new tech products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you are working on. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.